Love that music. And it's Friday. M. Jones, what's up, bruh? <laughs> the best of chair dancing. Convincing gossip, what's up? Everybody, what's up? I love that song, too. All right, all righty. Let's stop that. My name is Spot, what's up Spot? And Jimmy G, you just got the brush. Sycamore, sycamore, wood turned handle, the FM brush, synthetic badger, the silver tip. I'm freaking you out a little bit. It's the best brush on the market. Enjoy that, Jimmy G. RBS returns, what's up, brah? All right, so, oh, by the way, I got my new Brixton hooligan flat cap today. I'll be doing, because I'm a balding man, follically uh, challenged. This is a beautiful summer weight Hooligan, nice hound's tooth, beautiful design. Spring and summer weight, and I'm gonna wear it to the side slightly like that. So some hat reviews will be coming. Thank you, Jimmy G. So anyway, guys, today I'm gonna be talking about, and I think I'm gonna stick to some product reviews for these lives. At least have that as the baseline. I also told you guys that I would be telling you what I'm watching currently, or what my favorite shows are. Charles Smith, what's up? Charles Smith is on time. Arnie Pax, what's up, bruh? The TikTok legend is in the house. So I'm gonna give you 10 shows, and I'm gonna say you're welcome right now. Do we want to talk about the shows or do we want to get into Leaf first? Or do we want to do a little bit of a mix and match? You guys let me know. It's Friday. What's up, brah? Prince wants to do both. Prince called it and my man Prince Hernandez, you, you're going to get it. Let's talk about the Leaf razor. All right. Leaf shave, if you don't know anything about it, and if you don't, where have you been? Jimmy G says it's up to me. So this is the Leaf Razor, guys. Check this out. If you haven't seen it, I've done a few reviews of it. All right. Now, what's interesting about this, this is a metal. I believe it's zinc, but don't, don't quote me on that. It's beautiful, covered here in black, like a black satin. It's got the beautiful Leaf emblem there, or logo. And what's interesting about this is it sort of looks like a cartridge razor, guys, right? It behaves like a cartridge razor. Thank you, Werner Wasak. Leaf, yep, leaf for the win. So it behaves like a cartridge razor in the fact that it has this protective area here. It's got a flexible pivoting head. It's a multi-blade system. And then that's where it ends. Because when you open this up, there's a little screw back here, guys. There are three steps or three decks, if you can see that. So this is your base deck, second or middle deck, and the third deck, which all can be loaded up with a half of a double edge razor. That's right. I call this a hybrid, sort of a retro, DE feel, the economics or the economy of DE blades, the, the ability to change the blade type to suit your face, to what you like. 
buy in bulk. You're avoiding plastic. Very, very nice. And what this does is it offers a really smooth, really secure, beautiful shave. Now, I was told by the owner, one of the owners, the co-owner, Adam Hahn of Leaf, who has been on this channel two times now. And I'll leave links to all of the Leaf videos I've done so far, guys, including the interviews with Adam. If you wanna make this less aggressive, it's not very aggressive, but if you wanted to make it milder even yet, you can take one of these blades out. You could go with a double blade. So you know the old debate, what was better, the sensor or the Mach 3? Two is better than three, three is better than two. You could do this with this razor. And it's, it's really beautiful. I'll show you how it works. So when they were first released, they sent you blades, leaf branded blades. But I'll pick up a blade that I got from my, my boy, Jimmy G. This is from Jimmy G, the Dorco Prime, Platinum Prime, right? Beautiful. So you take this blade, guys, that you could buy in bulk. You've honed into your face. And what you do is you snap it in half. You hear that snap? So now I have two sides of a double edge razor, guys. Look at that. You like the G Gillette Platinum Blades. There you go, bro. So now I have a half of a double edge razor. And that's all you need, guys. You take this half blade and you put it on that deck. Now, it's not seated correctly, but they've magnetized this deck because people that have chubby fingers like B-Man might be dropping blades and you don't want to drop blades. Now I'll fill out the second deck with that second half of that double-edged razor. Again, magnetized, guys, for the chunky fingers of B-Man. So they even thought about B-Man when they were designing this product. And then the third blade, and so on. You tighten that up, and now you have, right now I have a double blade. I have a two-bladed, sort of safety razor, sort of cartridge hybrid. Beautiful shave. Now the one thing I will say with this, great for head shaves, not that I've done it, but I understand why it would be. Ultra protective, ultra easy, so you've got that ease of use of a cartridge. You're not worried about the nicks and tugs. There's no clogging because of the spacing. You could actually space it out and put a blade at the bottom and a blade up top. Just very unique, awesome company, awesome people. Uh, I, based in Pittsburgh, you don't have to put three in. You could put one in. And what's interesting in speaking to the folks from Leaf, guys, 60% of the the folks using this just happen to be women because it's a good body groomer. It's a good shaver because of the fact that it is very mild and protective. Good for leg shaves, guys. <laughs> yeah, B-Man said he was gonna do uh, donuts on my lawn. So this one came with a beautiful stand or you could purchase the stand and it sits beautiful right there and as an elegant piece of art. And that's what's really cool about this. Jimmy G knows this. It's a piece of art. We are mostly in this room, we are mostly fanatics. We collect stuff. Like I'm starting to collect hats, cover my bald head. It, it's just a very nice addition to your shaved den, guys. And they're great people. So support the leaf company. Anyone has questions of this on this all, all uh, during the live stream. It's a piece of art. 
Now, they talked about the one thing, and when I first started using this, you know, I was giving you the honest take. It's a no waste razor. And I said, the one drawback with this, guys, is because this piece up top is so thick and bulky, that first blade is so low, getting under in the sensitive areas was very difficult for me. So that was a drawback. I said, that's clearly a drawback. But when I spoke to Adam, he said, dude, you do three passes. So do your cross grain pass which will eliminate most of that problem that you have. However, we are introducing a new product, the twig, and I'll show you that, which eliminates that problem. So, if he, so, so for people that want more control, we are about to release a single edge blazer. A single edge blazer. I'm talking about clothes clothes, a single edge razor. <laughs> that's, that's why they, yes. So when I first got my package from Leaf, they sent along in the package a prototype twig. This is the original package. Jimmy G called me out. So I'm gonna pull out the original twig. So they sent a little letter in the leaf package and they noted the problem. House of Donuts. <laughs> they said, look, some people are complaining about that issue and we're looking at creating another, a, a, a companion razor that's gonna give you more control it's gonna be single edge. We want you to use this twig and give us your, your feedback on this twig. And I used it, I gave my feedback, and so did many of us who bought the original leaf. Actually was sent the leaf to review, so I wanna thank them. And uh, I like this twig. So if you look at it, guys, and you look at what they actually developed, very similar. But look at the angle. Can you see the angle? This has more of a 90 degree angle, the blade angle. And it forces you to shave like a double edge razor. You wanna have more of a 30 degree angle. So in the um, production model, they already put that 30 degree angle in. It's in there. It's in the design, guys, which makes it easier if you're a novice, it's your first time going into the, the DE space, this is an easier um, learning curve. You told me that. The Merker, the, the Merker Future clone. Did I say giveaway? What? Did I say giveaway? Who wants a giveaway? All right. So this is the twig. It has that 30 degree angle. What's very interesting about this, it's a twist to open. And I love this, guys. Look at that. That head twists out of the way because they noted that B-Man's chunky fingers, really, you need more space. So this was designed for B-Man. Lots of room for chunky fingers. And Leaf went ahead and machined the half DE blades. So in this little pack here, and my, my buddy Jimmy G told me that you can get half DE blades already for shavettes for the half or the de blade users out there that use the shavette razors the i'm going to call the prelude to the straight razor i did not know that 
But this is already machined, guys, if you can see that. This is a leaf blade. And I like the leaf logo on it. And I also like what it says on the back. I am not plastic. And even if you have the chunkiest of fingers, like B-Man, again, you're magnetized. It's no slipping around in the shower, guys. Sits right in that on that deck. Twist to close. And you don't you never want to really bear down on that. Just close it up. It's beautiful, very nice, mild shave, guys. Just it's the best shave I've ever had, guys. Bar none. Best shave. And um, so Adam tells me, Adam Hahn, and don't hold me to this, guys, but if you reach out to Leaf, if this is a little too mild for you, there's another plate that they have where the opening has been adjusted to make it a more aggressive feel. Love the Leaf Company, guys. Look for great things from this company to come. Again, I will leave a link in the description box after I can, and uh, I'll leave there the videos I've already done. It the videos I've already done about the Leaf and the Twig, as well as the two interviews I've done with Adam Hahn via Zoom. Awesome stuff if you're into that. All right, guys. Now let's talk about the list. Who wants Netflix first or who wants YouTube? First person that tells me that's where I go. I've got something in my eye. Live streaming kind of sucks. Do we want to go with the Netflix list or do we want the YouTube list? All right, Chris Nolan says YouTube. He was first. This is what I'm watching on YouTube. So... There's a guy who's been around for a couple of years now and has like taken off on YouTube. And I love this guy. I don't know where he's from. I don't know if he's from like Ireland or somewhere across the pond, but his channel focuses on unsolved and some solved crimes and murder crimes. So if you haven't seen him yet, guys, write this down. It's that chapter. That chapter, his name is Mike, and he gives you, covers interesting cases. They're about 25 minutes on average, and he just does it with a, a, a really cool perspective. There are so many videos he's done. He's covered all of the top cases that you've heard about, and then a lot of cases that you haven't heard about. But he's got an awesome delivery gives you the story, gives you nuggets that you might not have heard. And he's just an interesting watch. That chapter. Mr. Mike, he is number one on my YouTube list. Every Friday night and the weekend is when I groove to that. And he puts out two to three videos a week. So you're always like, yeah. All right. Number two on YouTube. Since I've gotten lately into hats, I've been looking around at different hats, you know, hat videos on YouTube, and I came across this guy. His name is Kevin, and he works at a store called J&J Hat Center, like Juice Juice Hat Center, J&J Hat Center in New York City, and his YouTube channel is called Hats and guitars. Boston media is killing who? That chapter? So, Hats and Guitars is like a really cool zen channel, guys. This dude is, he's, he's got a cool vibe going. He, he loves hats, knows hat, like everything about hats. And he plays guitar. And he's a different kind of dude. But I find myself listening and watching him when I retire for the evening. And, and lately he's been whisking me away to sleep 
talking about these awesome hats and, and the celebrities that come in and buy them and his guitars and his life. If you're into something a little offbeat, if you enjoy music and you're interested in hats, hats and guitars. And it's one of the smaller YouTube channels that I watch, but it's awesome. And I hope to connect with Kevin at some point. And I'd love to have him on the show. Humble servant, what's up, bruh? Now, by the way, has anybody seen Daniel Hannon today? I don't remember seeing Daniel Hannon making it here. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Let me look. I don't see Dan Hannon. Dan Hannon, are you here? Because if you're not here, bro. All right, moving right along. The third YouTube show that I love, and it's an old staple for me, Need More. It's an old staple. My boy, Tom Cotter, on the Haggerty channel, his show is called Barn Find Hunter. Yeah, yeah, Dan Han is AWOL. And I, I don't wanna hear anything from him. I may ban him from the show for a couple of weeks. Barn Find Hunter. Now, if I came back to the world, if, the, if there were reincarnation, I want to come back as Tom Cotter because Tom Cotter, Kim Gray is late. Oh, you're late. All right, Kim, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. And if you come in late, you just come in. Because when you announce you're late, that's a demerit. Welcome to the show, Kim. But Dan Han is not here. Oh, okay. You get a you get a pass. This time. All right. So here we go. Barn Fine Hunter. If I come back in another life, I want to come back as Tom Cotter. Danny K, what's up, bruh? Tom Cotter goes around the country. First of all, he's got a background in cars, in journalism, I believe. Don't hold me to it. So he's written books and he knows car, like you put a wrap on an old car, he can feel that wrap without looking at it. He can feel it and he knows what kind of car it is and even the year. But Tom Cotter goes around the country, Zafi, what's up, bruh? He goes around the country and he finds cars, old cars. That's all he does now. I mean, it's not all he does, but for the show I watch, that's what he does. And he fixes up cars and he drives an old Woody around, an old Woody station wagon, it's beautiful. And he digs out these old cars. And what I love about the show, he's a relaxed, cool character. Nothing ever gets to him. He goes and he meets all these interesting old people. Some old, some new, some young rather. But lots of old dudes sitting on like property with cars that they've collected. And you're like, why do you have all this stuff? And he finds these beautiful gems that are sitting just out in the sun waiting for someone to come and restore them. And then he says, anyone interested in this car, this rare X, Y, and Z, Contact this guy. This is what he does. And they have tons of these videos. So if you're a car dude like me, barn fine hunter. Going down the list. What's old is old and what's new is new. And when something looks old and you want to make it look new, you go to the detail geek. He's a Canuck. He is from, I believe, right outside of Toronto. And he does 
detailing for cars. This dude makes these cars that come in with mud and gunk and years of garbage, and, and he just makes these things look brand new. Bucky! The detail geek is awesome. Have you heard, like, watching certain things is very uh, it's satisfying? For some reason, I can sit, I can lock in on a detailing show and for hours, if you have like downtime and you just want to zen out with satisfaction, it's almost like an ASMR. The, de the detail geek is your ticket. You love the detail geek. You see that? Kim Gray loves the detail geek. I'm going down the rabbit hole. You're right. All right. Number five in the same genre as the detail geek, ammo, NYC, drive, and protect. Some of those cars are nasty. Now, what I like about ammo, NYC, is this dude, he has all these products, and he shows you the techniques, and he gets cars like old cars. And he tra he's been, he's a more established guy, although they both have great metrics, great viewership, big channels. This dude goes places, whereas the detail geek does most of his detailing on site. He's got an awesome garage for doing it. But Ammo, NYC Drive and Protect is, Bucky knows, that dude, he comes to you. Last but not least, the YouTube channels that I'm watching, and this is an old one for me, and this dude, another guy, very similar to Kevin from Hats and Guitars. This dude is a little quirky, a little different, but he's got a great channel, and he specializes in everything Chevy for the most part. Now, lately, he's been venturing into other cars, but Vice Grip garage my man is kind of off he's off the rails a little bit he's very quirky and it, you may get you may like look at him and be like i can't watch this dude you got to give him a little he's like a bad beer or he's like beer an acquired taste how do i get in touch with the detailed geek i don't have the dude's number i wish i could get in touch with him Timepiece gentlemen, if you're into watches. All right, so these are my six. Now I want you guys to share your top YouTube channels, and then I'm gonna show you something else, and then we'll get into my Netflix channels, because I'm here to serve. Guys, if you are late to the program, like um, <clears throat> someone, uh, I was showing off my new, just out of the box, my new, Brixton hooligan hat to cover my bald head. It's a beautiful summer weight hat. Look at that. Beautiful lined hat. Hound's tooth. Look at that. Look at that. Like a beautiful navy. And I forget what they call the green. Cypress and navy. Isn't that sweet? And I put that on, guys, and I wear it like a little to the side. See that? It's a snap cap, flat cap. You got to love that. Ryan Van Duzer, bike touring channel. Boss of the swamp. You got a green one like that, Danny K. Danny K, you and I are a lot alike, bro. And I, I, I've got another hat. I just ordered a hat, which I'll show you guys on Monday, which I've been looking at for a while. Truck Josh Vlogs, I like him too. Off the Ranch YouTube channel. Warlord of Art, what's up, bruh? What's up? TJIF to you. Sugar, Mer Shug Sugar Mary, Sugar Mary. Okay. Somebody write all these down. <laughs> All right, let me tell you something that I'm, I've just started to do. If you don't know about this, guys, I'll leave a link in the description box below. So when I was, 
um, taking a break from the 10 days, 10 shaves. Sam, the cooking guy, he rocks 30 miles out. All right. I started to do other. I was like, what, what else am I going to review while I'm waiting for my face to recover from 10 days of 10 shaves? And I started to do body wash. And I called it the body wash off. So I pitted three body wash um, varieties against each other. I don't know if you guys have seen that. Ken Surfs and Paul H. Those are sweet channels. All right. So this was the winner. Actually, I shouldn't even tell you that. If you haven't seen it, I'll leave a link in the description box below. These were the first contestants. I already let it out of the bag. So these were the first contestants. I have the body wash by Cremo, number 18, Palo Santo, which is a beautiful, refined, sweet-smelling, fragrant, effective body wash. Can he sh Kevy Shaves. Kevy Shaves is, is the man. Uh, we have the Harry's Redwood body wash, and it went up against... A message from the Duke. Duke Cannon's thick, high viscosity body, body wash. The Buffalo Trace scent. That was the first wash off. I love doing it, guys. Now, what I did was, to be fair, three days, three, sh three, days, three showers. <laughs> At least one shower a day. It's the way you got to... You got to be clean. And I, and I judge them on three or four different categories. You know I'm a sucker for marketing, so that comes into play. But a beautiful bottle with a terrible you know, product is not good. But the look, the overall aesthetic of the, of the bottle and the, and the marketing, um, the viscosity, the thickness of the body wash. So did it lather up? Was it thick? Did it all go down the drain? Was it effective? Did it take the day and the dirt off of you? And then the overall experience. How did you feel when you're in the shower? How did you feel after you showered? So I've started, I'm two days into the second body wash off, and that will be released probably this weekend. Percy recommended the Duke. Yeah, Percy did. All right. Are we ready for the Netflix? By the way, if you're into water, and I'm not selling this, but I will leave a link in the description box below. <laughs> if you're into water, guys, I'm telling you right now, this hint water, it's, it gives you a hint, like this is peach. A slight hint of peach kind of takes the, the water that, that like, I don't know, that water taste out of a plastic bottle away. It gives you just a, a hint of flavor. Don't be thinking it's gonna taste like a sweet peach, but it gives you an essence of whatever the fruit is. I've been drinking this, I love it, because I need to drink more water. This makes drinking water nice drink it nice and cold down it get your water drinking in for the day i will tell you it is expensive so don't hate me now but you can get deals if you subscribe on amazon and i like that because remember when you ship something to yourself from amazon you're doing yourself you're doing yourself a solid and you're also doing me a solid, and that I call a win-win. And I like the win-win. You've only got Amazon Prime. There you go, bro. Amazon Prime. I'll leave a link in the description box. You got to check this out. And let me know. All right. Where's my list? Let's look at the... All right. We got 29 people in the room and only 16 likes. Come on, people. This is the telethon part of, you forcing me into the telethon part of today's show. There are ways you can help the average guy. 
So not as good as pure water. I don't know, what do you, pure, like pure the brand or just pure without stuff in it? Because it doesn't have an aftertaste, this hint water. It has, it's vegan and free of sugar, sweeteners, no MSG, no nuts, no soy, no gluten, no preservatives. Learn more. You can go right to Hint, or you can get it on Amazon, guys, without stuff in it. Yeah, it, this, there's no stuff in it. It's just an essence of the fruit. Have you ever been to like a high, ritzy class hotel when you check in, and they have a big water, like a big glass water cooler, if you will, uh, dispenser, and inside there's either citrus fruits sitting in there, or sometimes they'll have a... Uh, cucumbers, and it gives you that f that essence of the f the flavor, and you go, damn! I w can I go back to the lobby and get a little bit more of that water? That's what this is. All right, Netflix guys. Oh, by the way, this is the telethon piece of the puzzle. All right, getting all these products costs money. That's unfortunate, but I'm providing a service to you. A little silliness, but I also, I'm taking the hit for you. If I'm telling you don't buy this yada yada because I've tested it, I'm saving you putting your hard-earned dollars down on a product that is inferior. Like, for instance, I'll tell you, I love the Duke, but there was no message from the Duke the day I used this. I would not spend your hard-earned dollars on this. I just wouldn't do it. I took the hit for you, bruh. So, but it costs money to take the hit. I've been taking lots of hits. <laughs> All right, so there are ways you can help me. And one of the crucial ways to help me is what you're already doing. You're here. All right? Being here is great. And when you're on time, that's even better. When you're here, please leave a like. There are 25 people in the, in the live stream. There's 20 likes. Some people forget. I understand. I don't leave a like every time I watch a video. But likes do help. It helps in the algorithm to get more views, more eyeballs into the live stream. If you're new here and you've come in and you've sat here and gone, Look, what is this? What, who is this clown? but you kind of say, ah, he's quirky, subscribe. That helps. Show my videos to your friends. There's a little arrow that says share. Share it with somebody. There's also a little, a little uh, dollar sign that's grayed out at the bottom of the chat window. If you click on that, you can send me a donation of sorts. It's called Super Chat Dollars. And you can send me as little or as much as you'd like. And I always say I prefer, I prefer as much as you'd like. <laughs> Lastly, almost even now. See, you guys are coming through. Lastly, guys, there'll be ads on many of the videos that I post. Some before, some during, some after. Look, I'm not telling you to watch the ads blindly. But if there's an ad that comes up, like a hat ad now that I'm talking about hats, and you're into hats, or a shaving ad that comes up, watch the ad. That helps you, and that helps me. M. Jones, the show sponsor today. Thank you, bro. All the way from Canada. That's what I that's what I like. Thank you, bruh. The show sponsor. So you guys just by being here, you're helping me. But but this is the telethon portion of today's segment, and we're done. Now we're gonna get into Netflix. I've got five from Netflix. What I'm watching now, I just finished watching. There are two seasons of this. It's called Blown Away. It's a competition-based reality show 
where they take these glass makers. I, I think there's like six, seven, eight of them in the beginning, maybe more. And each episode, they have to blow a piece of glass art. And at the end, one of the contestants gets taken off or blown away. Jerry Lewis, who? The Jerry Lewis telethon. Blown away, two seasons. You will be blown away. If you're into art, if you're into competitive stuff and kind of characters, these people are characters. Prince Hernandez, what's up, bruh? Show sponsor, thank you. All right. Blown away. If you are into mysteries, drama, suspense, and quirkiness, there's a show on Netflix called The Sinner. Three seasons. You have to give it some time. I'm telling you, give this show a little bit of time. You'll hate it the whole time you're watching it. And then when it's over, you'll be like, damn, I wish I had another season of The Sinner. It's an interesting show, but you got to, it's, it's cheesy, interesting. You got to give it time. The center. The main character is a weird, quirky dude. All right. Number three, Mind Hunter. Three seasons. I think it's three seasons. And there should be 50 seasons. This chronicles serial killers. So back in the 70s, I want to say, maybe a little, little earlier, 70s, the FBI developed uh, a unit that started to psychoanalyze serial killers to come up with profiles as to why serial killers did what they did and who these people were. This is sort of a drama, like a reality-based sort of pushed drama which is, it keeps you riveted. Mind, Mind Hunter is, it, that's the one. If you're only picking one from this list, Mind Hunter. Very good. Number four, very similar to number one, but a lot more seasons. So if you're binge, if you're looking to binge watch, Forged in Fire. The art of blacksmithing, knives, swords, cutting paraphernalia. Again, four contestants brought up. They're fighting it. They design a, a knife or a sword to spec in that episode. And the one with the weakest blade is kicked off. Very, very interesting. Forged in fire. And last, but certainly not least, for my Netflix list, Narcos Mex. Narcos Mexico. It's wild, man. It's a wild, wild show. Chronicles the, the Mexican cartel from the very beginnings. Just very interesting watch. You're immersed from, from go and bunch of characters in that. So those are the things I'm watching. M. Jones, I finally came through and let you guys know what I was watching. I'm glad you guys shared what you're watching. And does anyone have any more questions about the leaf or the twig before we wrap things up tonight? No? No questions? All right. Well, guys, I want to thank you all for being here. Even giveaways. Oh, you, you're looking to give. See, I, I'll be honest with you. I was going to give away something. I was going to give something away to Daniel Hannon, but he didn't come. He didn't show up two days in a row. Mark, uh, Narcos Mexico. What's for dinner? I don't know what we're having for dinner. What would you suggest? But we need to get dinner. Maybe Thai? Luke, what's up, brah? Thank you from New York. Fish and chips, that sounds good, Chris. 
fit. I like that. Shrimp scampi. You know, I can't, I can't eat shrimp. It's the weirdest thing. I've never been allergic to anything in my life. Can you purchase the leaf on your Amazon list? No, unfortunately. The leaf is, uh, I don't believe they sell through Amazon, guys. But I would go directly to Leaf Shave. Those boys, are, they're awesome. Yeah, more for you. Dear Brats. Oh, that sounds delicious. Bacon rack, beef tenderloin steaks. Ah. More Gillette vids. All right. We'll give you more Gillette vids. Zach. You like the skin guard. Twig is the best. I agree with you, Kim. The twig is the best. All right, we want to give something away. On Monday, we will give something away. I'll come up with a product to give away on Monday. For those of you who are here today and show up on Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern time, I will give something away. So that precludes Daniel Hannon because my boy didn't make it. You're making shrimp scamp. Oh, I can't have it. Omer says he's 16. He used the Mach 3 for... Oh, awesome. How'd it go, Omer? Shepherd's Pie and Guinness, you bastard. That sounds good, too. By the way, should I shave or should I grow? What do you guys think? Rock on, Omer. I'll tell you what, I ran out of the house today. It was good, didn't even get it, oh. Didn't get every hair. Omar, stop right there. Stop right there, Omar. Let me give you a suggestion with getting every hair. Don't try to get every hair. Uh, Werner, reach out to Leaf Shave and ask them to hook you up with a reseller in your area. See, there's a lot of problems with the taxes between here and there. So if you want to buy one and ship it, it's going to cost you a lot. There are resellers in Europe. So I believe it's uh, help at leafshave.com. But just go to leafshave.com and look for like contact us. And I'm telling you, they'll work with you. The Geek of Shaves. Oh, they did, Kim. Kim says they just started selling them. All right. The Geek of Shaves. So we have a, a celebrity, a YouTube celebrity. I should have. Oh, it's a good thing he wasn't here. Did I tell you that on my YouTube list that I had uh, the Geek of Shaves was on my list, guys? When I want to get Zen.